Okay, it's uh, Monday, uh, August 24th. No, one of these days, should, I should actually check the date just in case. Uh, is it the 24th? Uh, it's August, uh, that's September. Okay, it's, yes, it's August. Whoa. <laughs> hey, by the way, a uh, uh, tragedy has happened. I, um, you can see the, su the screen of my cell phone, that's that. So anyways, uh, let's see, uh, John Thomas here. Uh, doing a uh, John vlogging again on uh, day, I can never remember to write this down, day 16 or day 17 of this vacation. Uh, it's Monday, I'm in a park, and I've walked all the way here, and I've got all my busking gear in here. In here is my amp, my mic stand, got my drum out, and I'm just going to play some music. I'm actually getting ready to uh, record on Wednesday. I'm doing basically a mixtape. Uh, which is really interesting. I'm doing three cover songs. I'm doing uh, Hotel California. Uh, what else am I doing? Um, uh, I, do, I do have the playlist. It's written down. It's just not in front of me. Hotel California, Bird on a Wire. Sounds like there's another cover song. <laughs> and you think I was being uh, interviewed live on City Pulse with <laughs> Martin. So what's the... Uh, yeah, okay, and uh, just, uh, it'll be six songs, three covers, uh, three originals. Um, anyways, hopefully it'll be uh, ready Wednesday, and I'm scheduled to do two hours or $80 at a professional studio. You know, the funny thing is I'm actually very nervous about it, so I'm about to practice stuff now. Uh, I don't know how much busking I'm going to do. Um, you know, I think the only stress in my life right now is just the stress I'm putting on myself, and for some reason, at my age... Um, 54. I, I think it's just, uh, I just like taking my time and everything's been organic. Uh, you know, I, I started this little musical journey uh, technically in, in 2017 when I bought an electric guitar and I started playing my guitar again after years of not playing it. And then this year I really played it because of COVID. And so that's where I am now. It's August 24th. I've done two gigs. I think I've done seven to eight hundred dollars. Um, in money, cash. I shouldn't really be saying this on because I know where the government might be going. Hey, uh, how about our share? <laughs> but uh, I guess one day I will report it if it gets bigger, which is interesting. Um, and I guess I could report it. Maybe I will report it. I don't know. It's not a big deal. You know, it's just uh, it's a normal amount. But but in the three or four weeks I've done it, uh, like the other day, I think I did um, thirty-six dollars in half an hour for playing two songs. <laughs> We rode up on my bike, played some songs, they gave me some money, and then I got tired and I left. <laughs> I'm not even motivated to ask people for money anymore. It's funny, I just say, do you want to hear some music? And then people sometimes give me music, or um, music, uh, they give me money, uh, they can give me music too. <laughs> Even though I'm a musician, it's a beautiful part. This is a, um, uh, this is a, that's Portland over there. And, um, uh, up north is King. I'm not sure what that street is. Uh, maybe it's called something. That might be... Well, actually, it's Wellington. So this is Wellington in Portland. And this is uh, Victoria Memorial Square Park. It used to be a cemetery. And, um, yeah, so that's the, the vlog. There, there's some stress at work. There's a little problem with the supervisor, which is... Um, unfortunately, uh, has completely now stressed, it, uh, stressed me out and has added some stress to my vacation, which I didn't want. But... Um, uh, you know, I can't do anything. I, think I can only be myself. And, um, if they don't want me, I guess I'm saying I, I'm worried I might get fired, which I shouldn't really be saying online. But uh, uh, unfortunately, after what we said just the day before, I. Anyways, it's a good day. I, I can't worry about it. It's uh, you know I, I'll just leave it alone. Uh, they're gonna do whatever they want. I'm posting a lot online. I, I feel some people are unhappy about that. Which is sad, you know, because I've been there six years. I know a lot of people don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> but the people that might actually work with me and might actually understand what I might be saying, I guess that's for you, right? Uh, that would be my workmates. But anyways, um, but life is beautiful, and I'm at peace. I just wish people around me would just stop stressing out over the most insignificant things. I feel like playing music is not a threat to people. <laughs> I'm like someone who seems to think I'm... Okay, anyways, enough of that. Um, I've got to focus in on the positivity, and I'll run away from the uh, negativity. Um, I think the most positive aspect, and uh, since I started uh, uh, jamming just with other musicians, is 
is some of the beautiful people I've met, and I'll call out Charmy and Kunle especially, um, and Izzy. Uh, there's some of the stars of Kinsey and Mark that there's the stars of the uh, Toronto music scene. Kunle especially, uh, he's probably rich by now. Like he'll, he's probably one of the bigger producers right now in the local scene. Uh, Charmy's basically a star <laughs> as far as I can say. <laughs> you know, uh, Simon Cowell, I, I'm telling you, uh, check, check her out, I'll DM you. I DM you all these videos of me uh, saying, please sign me. Oh yeah, by the way, I guess I should perform. Hey, Simon Cowell, I'm J to the R to the O to the C. You never ever did see an MC quite like me. I'm shy, but I try. I'm the Leo Lion, give me a call. So I've got songs on, uh, online. Simon, Mr. Cal, one of my heroes, because I know you started for nothing, and I know you, you two were bullied, and I've been bullied, and blah, blah, I've been through so much, and I'm sure you've been through a lot, too, and you've, uh, you know, very successful, man. So I will apply for you, in all seriousness. But anyways, i got to go. Uh, I've got to actually do some stuff. I've got to get some banking done. Um... I've got to organize something uh, for my busking. I have to get something called a square. Because a lot of people want to pay me in debit. So we'll see how much money I can make once I get that. And, uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, I think the only bad thing that's happened to me uh, recently that had any significance is I had laundry stolen from me about a week ago in my building. And it was a bit of a shock. Uh, I lost a lot of t-shirts. Really nice shirts. Like, those I can replace. I lost a lot of Marley shirts, and uh, which I thought was sad. And I lost my only uh, David Bowie shirt, the one that says, yeah, I still miss David Bowie, the Peanuts cartoon, and I miss the Hendrix. But the sad part is I, I they took all my work clothes, <laughs> my work pants. <laughs> so I had four pairs of work pants that are now gone, which I, and they're hard to get because I want black. I'll go looking for them today. I've got a week to find them, but um, but it is what it is. I, say, I can only say if you've ever sold them, God bless you, you know, I can see you any more than I did. And... Um, I guess I, you know, other than the fact that I, yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta go look for the work <laughs> Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for me. So, uh, John Thomas, John T Food 66 YouTube channel, uh, John T Food 66 Instagram, uh, John Thomas Facebook, and I just went to TikTok, which is amazing. It's an amazing platform, and it is John, the solo case, at J O H N dot uh, Thomas dot song tiktok at john.thomas.song i have to think about that <laughs> but that's what it is okay anyways god bless you and have a marvelous day it is monday august 24th uh day 16 i believe in my uh, staycation and one week to go before i go back to work so god bless everyone peace